She had long been laboured in these and many other traumas, such that folk thought she should never have escaped them nor lived. But then, after a time, as she lay alone, our merciful Lord Christ Jesus, ever to be trusted, worshipped be his name, never forsaking his servant in time of need, appeared to his creature, which had forsaken him. In the likeness of a man, most seemly, most beauteous, and most amiable that ever might be seen with the human eye, clad in a mantle of purple silk, sitting upon her bedside, and looked upon her with so blessed a cheer that she was strengthened in all her spirits. And he said to her these words, Daughter, why hast thou forsaken me? And I never forsake thee. And anon, as he had said these words, she saw verily how the air opened as bright as any daytime. And he flew up into the air, not right hastily and quickly, but fair and easily, that she might well be holding him in the air till it was closed again. And anon, the creature was stabled in her wits and in her reason as well as ever she was before. 